Alex, are they really close now, Bully and Company, to bringing in Podge? Looks that way, Jim. Uh, not done yet is the message we're getting out of Stamford Bridge, but talk certainly advancing. Mauricio Pochettino, as he broke last week on Talk Sport, has made it clear that he fancies the job. He doesn't think Chelsea are actually that far away from being serious challenges again, despite the poor season by their high standards they've had. He thinks if they can get a top-class centre forward, maybe a goalkeeper, then actually he could turn them into contenders next season. We know they've also got an admiration for Vincent Company and possibly Ange Postacoglu at Celtic as well. But I think both of those appointments come with the same sort of risk that you would get with Graham Potter, not proven at the top level in the Premier League. I know that Simon doesn't believe that Pochettino is an elite coach, but I think he's earned the opportunity to go and prove that he could be at Chelsea. And certainly he's more experienced at that level than company and Postacoglu. It's true, Simon. He's been out. He's, he's stuck well, out key, of it for a while. Well, you key, never know how he's going to be when he returns. And that's fine. And the key terminology that Alex used there, which is very different from what Chelsea would have used previously, is if Chelsea want to be contenders. Well, I, I was under the impression that Chelsea wanted to be winners, not contenders. Correct. So if you want to be a contender, fantastic. Pochettino's your man. You'll be a contender. No doubt about it. You've got a good enough playing squad there. You're not that far away. You'll get a centre forward in. You'll be fine. So you'll be a contender. I thought they wanted to be winners. And that's where I differ. Well, you and the... I both know that in the briefing, Bully tells us he wants Chelsea to be the best club and in the Pochettino's world. And Pochettino's a nice name on your resume. He's a great stepping stone manager. He'll do better than Graham Potter because he's used to managing at a certain end of the, of the pyramid that Potter wasn't particularly used to. He'll be better than Potter. But will he win anything with Chelsea? I, I don't think so. Uh, Alex, what are you hearing about Stellini? Is, is he still an interim charge at Tottenham? Uh, he is. We sit here at 11.44 on a Monday morning, but how long uh, that will be the case for is open to an awful lot of debate. We understand at Talk Sport that his future is under discussion after that hammering at Newcastle yesterday. It smacked to me of a team of players who've completely given up on their manager. And it's actually been suggested to me in the last half an hour or so that Stellini himself could even decide to walk away from the job. It does leave Spurs in a bit of limbo. Of course, Ryan Mason, who's had a spell in interim charge previously, is still there. That would be the obvious route to go down if they can appoint an interim to the interim. Uh, Chris Powell, <laughs> their experience is on the staff as well. But it's a mess, isn't it? Daniel Levy's got himself into a complete mess. I agree with Simon. Conte basically sacked himself. But we all knew that this was going to happen. He, he wouldn't be a Spurs manager beyond the end of the season. So surely... Daniel Levy, with all his experience, all his acumen, when it comes to running a Premier League football club, should have had a successor in his mind. Doesn't seem that is the case. OK, and j j just picking up what you said there, you're hearing that Cellini himself might well be close to walking away. I'm told that's, that, that, that's a possibility, and no doubt that is part of the, the conversation that will be being had this morning. He's going to pitch up wherever Antonio Conte goes next anyway, isn't he? So he's, he's in a win-win situation. OK, Alex, thanks very much indeed. Alex Crook joining us uh, live. We'll keep across it. Um, we've got calls out, we've got texts out, trying to find out the latest on Pochettino to Chelsea. Incidentally, Chelsea fans, you having that? Pochettino coming back into English football, and um, this time at Chelsea. 03717 8010 And Stellini, discussions ongoing at Tottenham about the Tottenham interim manager, but this was a guy who went up there yesterday to the northeast and uh, watched his side get humiliated by Newcastle United. Is he out of there? Is he going to walk? As Alex suggests, might just happen. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.